Home Alone 2, Lost in New York is a 1992 American Christmas comedy film written and produced by John Hughes and directed by Chris Columbus. It is the second film in the Home Alone series and the sequel to Home Alone. Macaulay Culkin reprises his role as Kevin McAllister, while Joe Pesci and Daniel Stern reprise their roles as the Wet Bandits, now known as the Sticky Bandits. Catherine O'Hara, John Hurd, Rob Schneider, Tim Curry, and Brenda Fricker are also featured. Kevin and his family decide to take a trip to Florida, but Kevin takes the wrong plane and ends up in New York City. He tries to make do with what he has, such as using his father's credit card to stay at the Plaza Hotel, but is soon confronted by the wet bandits and must outrun and out-prank them again. The film was shot in Winnetka, Illinois, O'Hare International Airport in Chicago, Evanston, Illinois, and New York City. The film became the second most financially successful film of 1992, earning over $173 million in revenue in the United States and $359 million worldwide against a budget of $20 million. The film is also notable for featuring a cameo from future U.S. President Donald Trump, who had owned the Plaza Hotel at the time of the film's production. Principal photography was from December 9, 1991 to May 1, 1992. A sequel, Home Alone 3, followed five years later in 1997. Topic. Plot The McAllister family is preparing to spend Christmas in Miami, gathering at Peter and Kate's home outside of Chicago. Peter and Kate's youngest son, Kevin, sees Florida as contradictory to Christmas, due to the lack of Christmas trees in Florida. Later, at a school Christmas pageant, Kevin's older brother Buzz humiliates him, causing Kevin to retaliate and attack Buzz, ruining the pageant. Back home, Buzz apologizes for the prank, however Kevin refuses to apologize and berates his family before storming to the third floor. During the night, Peter accidentally resets the alarm clock, causing the family to oversleep once again. At the airport, Kevin stops to replace the batteries for his talkboy, carrying Peter's bag which contains the batteries along with Peter's wallet and large amounts of cash. Losing sight of his family, Kevin inadvertently boards a flight to New York City after mistakenly following a man wearing a jacket identical to Peter's. Upon arrival in New York City, Kevin decides to tour the city. While there, Kevin meets a homeless woman tending to pigeons at Central Park, which frightens him. Kevin goes to the Plaza Hotel, where he uses Peter's credit card to check in. Meanwhile, the Wet Bandits, Harry and Marv, have traveled to New York City after escaping during a prison riot and now call themselves the Sticky Bandits, due to stealing money with a sticky glove. On Christmas Eve, Kevin visits a toy store where he meets its philanthropic owner, Mr. E.F. Duncan. Kevin learns that the proceeds from the store's Christmas sales will be donated to a children's hospital, and provides a donation. As a token of appreciation, Mr. Duncan offers Kevin a pair of ceramic turtle doves as a gift, instructing him to give one to another person as a sign of eternal friendship. After a run in with Harry and Marv, Kevin rushes back to the plaza. The hotel's concierge, Mr. Hector, confronts Kevin about the credit card, which has been reported stolen. Kevin flees the hotel after evading Mr. Hector, but he is eventually caught by Harry and Marv. 
They brag about their plan to break into the toy store at midnight, just before Kevin manages to escape. After landing at Miami International Airport, the rest of the family discovers that Kevin is missing. After tracking the whereabouts of the credit card, they fly to New York. Meanwhile, Kevin goes to his Uncle Rob's townhouse, only to find the house vacant and undergoing renovations while Rob and his family are still in Paris. At Central Park, he encounters and befriends the Pigeon Lady. They go to Carnegie Hall, where the Pigeon Lady explains how her life collapsed when her lover left her. Kevin encourages her to trust people again, and promises to be her friend. Kevin confides in her that he's misbehaved and that he doesn't deserve Christmas. She suggests that he do a good deed which will make up for the bad ones. Seeing a child in the children's hospital, Kevin decides to stop Harry and Marv from robbing the toy store. Kevin returns to the townhouse and rigs it with numerous booby traps. He later arrives at the toy store during Harry and Marv's robbery, takes their picture, and breaks the store's window, setting off the alarm. Kevin then lures the duo to the townhouse, where they spring the traps and suffer various injuries. While the duo pursues Kevin outside of the townhouse, he calls the police before Harry and Marv catch him and discuss how they will kill him in Central Park. Before they can shoot him, the pigeon lady has her pigeons incapacitate them. Kevin sets off fireworks to signal the police, who arrest Harry and Marv, finding enough evidence that would ensure their incarceration for a long time. At the toy store, Mr. Duncan finds a note from Kevin, explaining about the robbery. While searching for Kevin, Kate remembers his fondness for Christmas trees and heads to Rockefeller Center. After observing Kevin making a wish at the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree, Kate meets him there and they reconcile. On Christmas Day, a truckload of gifts arrive at the McAllister's hotel room from the toy store as a reward to Kevin for stopping the robbery. Kevin reconciles with the rest of his family, and goes to Central Park to give the Pigeon Lady the second turtle dove, cementing their friendship. At the plaza, Buzz receives the bill for Kevin's stay and shows it to Peter, who calls out, Kevin. You spent $967 on room service," prompting Kevin to run away from the hotel. Cast Release Topic. Marketing Numerous video games based on Home Alone 2 were released by THQ for such systems as the Sega Genesis, the Nintendo Entertainment System, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, Game Boy and personal computers, mostly in late 1992. A separate handheld game was released by Tiger Electronics. Numerous board games were also released, some based around play cards, while another was a close emulation of the classic mouse trap. The Talkboy cassette recorder was produced as a tie in for the movie by Tiger Electronics based on specifications provided by John Hughes and the movie studio, and sold particularly well after the film was released on home video. American Airlines again had product placement in the film. Film with the McAllisters making their trip on the airline's two Boeing 767-200s. In the first film, a McDonnell Douglas DC-10 was used. For the release of the first two films on home video, the airline became a sponsor. 
Coca-Cola products make several appearances in the film, including in scenes when Kevin rides a limousine and when Kevin's cousin Fuller wakes up at the Plaza Hotel. Notably, Pepsi products appeared in the first Home Alone film instead. <laughs> Box office Home Alone 2 opened to $31.1 million from 2,222 theaters, averaging $14,008 per site. While it started off better than Home Alone, the final box office gross was much less. $173.6 million was taken in the United States and a total of $359 million worldwide. The film was released in the United Kingdom on December 11, 1992, and topped the country's box office that weekend. Topic: Critical response. Review aggregation website Rotten Tomatoes gives the film an approval rating of 30% based on 27 reviews, with an average rating of 3.7/10. Audiences polled by CinemaScore gave the film an average grade of A. On an A plus to F scale, Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun Times gave the film two out of four stars and stated that cartoon violence is only funny in cartoons. Most of the live action attempts to duplicate animation have failed, because when flesh and blood figures hit the pavement, we can almost hear the bones crunch, and it isn't funny. Topic. Home media The film was first released on VHS and Laserdisc on July 27, 1993. It was re-released in 1997 along with Home Alone on VHS. It was later released on DVD on October 5, 1999 as a basic package, with no special features other than theatrical trailers for the film and its predecessor and successor. The film was released on Blu-ray in 2009 with no special features, and was released alongside Home Alone in a collection packed the following year. The film was reissued again on DVD and Blu-ray in 2013 and 2015. Topic: Music. John Williams returned from the first installment to score Home Alone 2. While the film featured the first film's theme song, Somewhere in My Memory. It also contained its own theme entitled, Christmas Star. Two soundtrack albums of the film were released on November 20, 1992, with one featuring Williams' score and the other featuring contemporary Christmas songs featured in the film. Ten years later, a two disc deluxe edition of the film score soundtrack was released. Topic. Score Original Score Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, Original Score is a 1992 soundtrack composed by John Williams, who also scored the first installment in the franchise. While the soundtrack is mostly a repeat of the first film's material, there are a few new prominent themes such as Christmas Star and Plaza Hotel and Duncan's Toy Store. Ultimately, the soundtrack fell out of print. Somewhere in My Memory, 349. Home Alone, 201. We Overslept Again, 246. 
Christmas Star 318 Arrival in New York 141 Plaza Hotel and Duncan's Toy Store 345 Concierge and Race to the Room 204 Star of Bethlehem 328 The Thieves Return 435 Appearance of Pigeon Lady 319 Christmas at Carnegie Hall O come all ye faithful O little town of Bethlehem Silent Night 502 Into the Park 349 Haunted Brownstone 301 Christmas Star and Preparing the Trap 417 To the Plaza Presto 322 Reunion at Rockefeller Center 236 Kevin's Booby Traps 341 Finale 355 Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. 251. Topic: Soundtrack. Original soundtrack album Home Alone 2: Lost in New York. Original soundtrack album is a 1992 soundtrack album that contains music from or inspired by Home Alone and Home Alone 2: Lost in New York. The album eventually was discontinued and later re-released as Home Alone Christmas in 1997 by Sony BMG with an alternative track listing. Both versions feature tracks of John Williams' score, though the tracks are of different songs between the original album and its re-release. Original soundtrack album track listing, "'All Alone on Christmas' 414 Darlene Love A Holly Jolly Christmas' 214 Alan Jackson Somewhere in My Memory 358 Bette Midler, composed by John Williams, lyrics by Leslie Bricousset. My Christmas Tree, 235 Home Alone Children's Choir, composed by Alan Menken, lyrics by Jack Feldman. Sleigh Ride, 344 TLC. Silver Bells. 415 Atlantic Star Merry Christmas Merry Christmas 240 John Williams Jingle Bell Rock 209 Bobby Helms Cool Jerk Christmas Mix 239 The Capitals It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas 214 Johnny Mathis Christmas Star 316 John Williams O come all ye faithful 326 Lisa Fisher Home Alone Christmas track listing All Alone on Christmas Darlene Love A Holly Jolly Christmas Alan Jackson my Christmas Tree, The Fox Albert Choir, Somewhere in My Memory, John Williams, Silver Bells, Atlantic Star, Sleigh Ride, TLC, Christmas All Over Again, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Please Come Home for Christmas. Southside Johnny Leone. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. John Williams. Carol of the Bells. John Williams. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. 
Mel Torme. O oh, come all ye faithful. Lisa Fisher, the deluxe edition in the film's 10th anniversary. Verez Saraband released a two-disc special edition soundtrack entitled Home Alone 2: Lost in New York, the deluxe edition. The soundtrack contains John Williams' cues found on the previous releases as well as additional compositions that were left out from the final film. This release is also known for resolving a mastering error that caused the music to be inaccurately pitched. Disc 1 Home Alone main title, 207. This Year's Wish 147. We Overslept Again, Holiday Flight 319. Separate Vacations Asterisk 158. Arrival in New York Asterisk Asterisk 259. The Thieves Return 328. Plaza Hotel 304. Concierge 131. Distant Good Nights Christmas Star Lyrics by Leslie Bricousse 205 A Day in the City 59 Duncan's Toy Store 241 Turtle Doves 129 To the Plaza Presto 327 Race to the Room Hot Pursuit 408 Haunted Brownstone 302 Appearance of the Pigeon Lady 321 Christmas at Carnegie Hall 515 O come all ye faithful O little town of Bethlehem Silent Night Disc 2 Christmas Star Preparing the Trap Lyrics by Leslie Bricousse 422 Another Christmas in the Trenches 233 Running through town, 116. Luring the thieves, asterisk, 402. Kevin's booby traps, 723. Down the rope, into the park, 506. Reunion at Rockefeller Center, it's Christmas, 521. Finale, 2 o'clock. We wish you a Merry Christmas, traditional, and Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Lyrics by Leslie Bricousse, 251. End title, 132. Holiday Flight, alternate, 232. Sweet from Angels with Filthy Souls, 2. 56. Somewhere in My Memory Lyrics by Leslie Bricousse 357 Star of Bethlehem Lyrics by Leslie Bricousse 332 Christmas Star Lyrics by Leslie Bricousse 323 Merry Christmas Merry Christmas Orchestra 223 Topic Novelization Home Alone 2 was novelized by Todd Strasser and published by Scholastic in 1992 to coincide with the film. It has an ISBN of 0-590-45717-9. An audiobook version was also released read by Tim Curry who played the concierge in the film. As in the novelization of the first film the McAllisters live in Oak Park, Illinois and the crooks are named as Harry Lime and Marv Merchants. In the beginning of the novelization, a prologue, which ends up being Marv's nightmare in prison, he and Harry sneak away from the cops and return to Kevin's house to seek revenge on Kevin. Kevin bolts into the garage with Marv and Harry in hot pursuit. Harry and Marv end up triggering extra traps that Kevin had set up in the garage. Kevin watches as Marv ends up triggering a trap where a running lawnmower falls on his head this was a trap featured in Home Alone 3. <laughs> Topic. 
Sequels A second sequel, Home Alone 3, followed in 1997. Two additional television movie sequels, Home Alone 4, Taking Back the House and Home Alone, The Holiday Heist, would follow in 2002 and 2012, respectively. See also List of films featuring fictional films